Welcome to Mint. I'm Malia Pulitzer. In today's edition of From the Newsroom, we're joined by Sahil Makkar. Welcome to the show, Sahil. Thank you. We're also joined by cyber expert Pavan Dukal. Welcome to the show, Mr. Pavan. Thank you. The government of India has asked certain account holders on social media websites to justify why they should not shut down their accounts. The accounts had allegedly carried inflammatory messages and morphed images related to the violence in Assam. So my first question is for you. Can you tell me what sorts of action the government plans to take against these account holders? As you know that the government has blocked some 310 uh, websites and URLs for uh, carrying inflammatory messages or morphed images uh, on the website. So now after that the government has started taking legal action against those people who posted it. So in the first round the government has asked uh, people who have uh, accounts on Twitter and they have post, allegedly posted uh, such kind of messages uh, against uh, and that has incited violence in Assam and that also led to mass exodus of uh, northeastern uh, community from various parts of uh, country to, uh, uh, to back uh, their home in uh, uh, northeastern state. So after now the government has asked them to uh, uh, come before them and justify why their account should not be blocked. And in case if these people won't be able to justify uh, before the government, the government uh, may permanently block their accounts and can also initiate a criminal probe against them. Also in the second round, the government will ask uh, uh, the rest of the people uh, who posted uh, such kind of messages to come before it. Uh, Mr. Pavan, my next question is for you. Under what circumstances and provisions can the government take such actions? Clearly, the Information Technology Act 2000 is India's mother legislation dealing with the all use of uh, data and information in the electronic form. After the 2611 Mumbai attacks, huge amount of powers of interception, blocking, decryption, and monitoring have been granted to the central and the state governments. So, person to the set powers, the government is well within its powers to go ahead and initiate criminal prosecutions against all those people who have used computer platforms and computer resources to either publish, transmit, or cause to be published or transmit in the electronic form any of such information which is inciting hatred or which is primarily aiming to prejudicially impact and corrupt the minds of those who are likely to see, read, or hear the same. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bhavan. So my last question is for you. What have we learned from this entire exercise? With this exercise, we have learned two things. First, that India does not have the uh, capability to block encrypted messages. Second, the internet service providers do not have adequate infrastructure in the country. So uh, imagine if the same situation is repeated, we will be standing at the, exactly at the same place as of uh, right now we are, which means that uh, we can't do uh, anything much in this case. We just have to be a mute uh, spectator in the case uh, that we don't have uh, much of the capability. So uh, my doubt, my fear is that uh, such things are not repeated in the future. Today, even the Home Minister and the uh, Director of Intelligence Bureau said the same thing. They both said that, uh, you know, uh, we should not only watch uh, uh, what is going on the website, but we should also have the capability to remove it and block it. So it sounds like India still has a long way to go when it comes yeah, to cybersecurity. That's true. Thank you for those insights, Sahil. Thank you. And thank you for joining us, Mr. Pavan. Thank you. On that note, we end today's show. Please stay tuned for next time.